Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install rear diffuser fins for your C7 from Extreme Online Store. So hi guys, today we're going to be installing the diffuser fins on my rear bumper on my C7 Corvette. Now, I've taken the liberty a little bit of getting ahead of things just a little bit by putting, get, cutting out the uh, template itself and getting it mounted. Now, I'm going to show you what I did with that. Um, I was going to film it a little bit different way, so this is why I, I did this. Um, so that's why I'm like one step ahead. Um, but what I did is, I, first of all, all I did was just wipe everything down here on the bumper. And then there's two screws that are right here at the very bottom. And hopefully you can see that. Those are the two OEM screws right there. You take those two out. There's a hole on the, uh, um, that's marked on the template. And you go ahead and you put the screws through that template. You screw it up there. And then you just bring the paper template up and you tape it off. Okay, so I've done that on both sides. And then you tighten that, well, of course, you tighten that one screw down before you tape it. So anyway, that's, that's where you're at. Now, what you have is that each diffuser fin itself has three mounting screws, okay? And they, uh, the screws are included. They're a self-tapping screw. They're an eight millimeter head. And uh, what you're going to want to do with that is you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to um, you're going to want to pre-start these. Now I have already pre-started this one, so I'm not going to have to do that again. But just because of the fact that it's very tight clearances up inside the bumper, and I'm going to be showing you that. I'm going to try to get my GoPro in there and see let you see it. Um, it's a little tight, but it's not. You know, it's not where you, you just can't do it. I mean, it's, it's something that everybody can do. Um, but what we're going to do now is, now that we've got the template here, we've got to drill out the holes that are marked on the template. Now, I know that's not exactly something you always wanted to do when you're drilling holes into your car. I, I, that gives me the eebie-jeebies all the time. But um, we're going to start out with a eighth-inch pilot hole on all of these. And then we'll graduate up to a quarter uh, quarter inch uh, drill bit here. And once we get those six on this side and the six on the other side done, then what we can do is we'll be able to go ahead and take the template off. We'll take those two screws off down at the bottom. There's also three screws over here, two that hold the fascia onto the bumper, and then there's one other screw that holds the mud flap in place also. So you have to take all three of those off. Now all of these screws are exact same length, so you don't have to worry about that. So you're just going to be taking these two, those three, on both sides off. And then what that will do, and it's not as hard to do over here on this side, is there's this area up inside the car here on this side of the car is pretty much hollow. So you'll be able to reach right up there. But it does make it a little bit easier that now that we've got these screws loose, we can actually pull this lower fascia away from the bumper and it'll come out to like so, all right, which gives you more room to get in there. Now, it becomes very vital that you have to do that on the other side. On the driver's side, there is a hydraulic pump that sits in this exact same spot, but on the other side. And that is the, that pump controls the, uh, the differential in the car. So um, there's hydraulic lines there. Um, you're going to want to be careful not to, you know, jam the, the drill up in the hole. You just want to drill it and pull back. You're not going to want to, like, you know, just jam it right on through. So be very careful when you're drilling the holes. This side, not really too much of a worry, again. But on that side, there is hydraulic lines and a pump. And so you just want to drill very so, so slightly to get into the holes. Once you are able to pull these loose, you'll be able to get your arm up in there and and get up in there with a wrench or, or a socket. Um, it's going to be, um, depending on the size of your hands, you may have to use a wrench. I can just barely get my arms up in there. So if you've got really big arms, you're going to have to be using a wrench and just take your time with it. You're only talking six screws, and the two upper ones are the ones you're really going to have a problem with um, if you can't get your arms up there. Um, otherwise, it won't be a problem. 
I've done this once before and um, I didn't know to pull this fascia loose and, and the instructions don't tell you that. So just keep that in mind that as long as, and, and it'll pop, you'll, you'll hear it when I, when I pull it loose. There's just a little snap here that holds it in place. It's not going to hurt anything. Just, you know, we'll just pull it loose and that will give us the clearance we need. So um, we're going to go ahead. Uh, one other thing, depending on, uh, depending on your, where you're at, I know the instructions for this kit says to put it on a lift. I'm purposely doing it on the floor to show you that you don't have to have a lift to do it. Um, you know, as you know, I would go up to Terry's and when he has a full on lift and it would have been so much easier to do that because I'm going to be standing up. But this time we're going to do it. We're going to do it laying down and that way, because most of you, you don't have a lift. So I want to, want to always try to show you what you can do without having to go get the lift. So anyway, what I did, um, and you probably can see that right here if I move out of the way, is I've got a very small floor jack here and I just went across the cross member on the rear there and I just jacked it up a little bit like so, okay? And that just gives me just enough clearance that I can get underneath there and get my head underneath there and I can see what I need to see. And then I can take my flashlight, which I have one right here, and this will go up inside there like that and I'll be able to see up inside. And with that, this isn't a hard job at all. So um, the hardest thing for me to do is going to be able to get the camera, to get the, uh, the GoPro up in there to be able to show you. Um, but otherwise, uh, we'll go ahead and I'll drill these, these, uh, this side here. Then I'll move the camera, we'll do it over here so you can see me drilling them. And then at that point, we'll, we'll switch over to the GoPro and I'll try to show you how it goes together up there, okay? Um, the, the, uh, the units themselves, they come with two lefts and two rights, so you're going to want to make sure that you get those uh, lined up. They are marked uh, on here. Um, so uh, I've seen seen one kit that said uh, left and right, and I've seen one that had one and two. So um, just pay attention to the instructions, and it will tell you exactly where it goes. the the um, The template is is clearly marked, and it says you know twin diffusers or dual diffuser fins for the passenger side, and that's for the driver side. So. Um, Without, uh, without boring it anymore, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now and um, we'll get it going. Okay, so we've got our, our eighth inch drill bit here. I'm just going to lay down. Hopefully this will make it a little bit easier for you guys to see it. And I'm just going to go right into here. All right. And this bumper is very, um, they're very thin, so it's not going to take a lot. So this is what I was saying, guys. You want to make darn sure that you, uh, you know, that you get this right, and that you don't, uh, you know, you don't go drilling way through there. So just, you know, just apply a little bit of pressure; it'll go right through. Point. We're going to go ahead and we're going to graduate up to the quarter inch drill bit. Okay. It's like so. My bit's pretty darn sharp, so it's just grabbing it pretty quick. Like I said, this, this fascia is just paper thin almost, so you just be careful. Okay. So now we've got those done, we can go ahead and we can take our two screws out here.
take our template loose. And you don't have to save your template. I save mine because I've had some people in the past that have watched the videos that I do and they, they either lose their template or they ruin it somehow and I've actually sent them a copy of the templates so they can they can actually redo it or if they if they lost it you know that type of thing so all right so now we've got our six holes here now what we're going to do we've already pulled our two screws here while I'm over here on this side I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull those three screws that we were talking about Like I said, they're all the same same length, so you don't have to worry about that. Now you can see that I've got all the screws loose. Now I'm just going to take this, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm just going to pull this loose. There we go. That's two snaps. It's more than enough, and that gives us enough room to be able to get up in there. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump over to the other side and we'll start over there. Okay, so now we're over on the driver's side. We're going to do the exact same thing. I'm trying to get myself situated here so I'm not in your way so you guys can actually see this. Now again, you want to remember that you're, you're going to just be drilling ever so carefully here. And this side, do not take the chance. You know, try to hold your drill back a little bit and just go through the bumper because this is where the hydraulic pump is. switch over to our quarter inch drill bit if I can find it there it is like I said just ever so slight Okay, so we've got that done. Now we can go ahead and we can remove the screws. And what I do, I left my tool over here. Pull these other three over here too. I'm done and out of the way. And again, if you had a screw gun with a rat, you know, with a socket head on it, you could use that to take it loose. I like to use all of my manual tools. I just have, I don't like stripping anything out. I don't like taking the chances of that, so I do it a little bit slower. I get people giving me comments on the videos all the time saying, well, you know, a, a, uh, a drill with a socket would make it a heck of a lot faster. And you are absolutely right. But 
it's uh, this is just much more safer, I think. Okay. So, now that we've got that done, we've got all our holes drilled. We can go and get our template out of the way, get ourselves situated. We can pull this out. It's like so. That's not a lot, but it's enough to get your hands up in there. Okay. If you have, to, if if you if your arms are bigger, you can take these uh, these snaps loose farther, and um, and take it out a little bit farther. I just don't want to keep undoing stuff on the car, so I'm trying to keep as much stuff tight as I can. Okay. So the next step that we've got is that we're going to start putting the screws here uh, down, reach up through the bumper, drop them down into the holes, and then that way we can mount the uh, the diffusers themselves. Now. These diffusers are made, they have a plastic backing in them, and we're using a self-tapping screw. Now I think I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, that what you want to do before you get up there and you're tight quartered and you're going to, you know, you don't want to fight that while you're really, while it's tight. So you can take a socket, you can take a wrench, and just pre-start these screws so it threads them and gets them, gets them going, okay, just like so. And then you can back them back out, and it's going to be very, very, very simple once you to get them started. Once you get them up in there, if you don't, you're gonna you're gonna probably fight it a little bit, and it's not going to be as as easy or as fun to put these in. So it's something that doesn't take long to do sitting right here, but this could add minutes um, to your install. So, like I said, all I'm doing here is I'm just starting the starting the threads this way. It's, uh, it's going to thread up nice and pretty here. So now while I'm, I've got this one done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the all the other ones. And then um, at that point, we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll uh, come back to me trying to get these up in there and tightened. I'll try to get the GoPro up in there so you guys can see it. And uh, well, let's see if we can get these on. Okay, so now we've got got these all set up for this side here so what we're going to do we've got our six screws and we're going to go ahead and put them up in through the, the holes here and those little guys will just go right up through there we'll have to get the light and i'll have to get the gopro up there so we can see We should be able to pull this down, just like that. Now, like I said, if I wouldn't have pulled that piece loose over over on this side over here, I would not have been able to get my arms up in there like that, especially on this side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll get these other three in there. And then we'll try to get some GoPro footage up there so you can see what we're doing. Now I can reach right up in there. Get those screws in there like so. And like I said, the top one, a little bit of finesse, not a not rocket science, just need a little bit of room. Okay, so let me see if I can get the uh, GoPro to fire up here. So hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get a little bit better light. And you can see the, there's not a lot of room here. There's that, that hydraulic pump I'm talking about. So you know, you've got to navigate around that, right? So by pulling Pulling the screws loose like I was talking about, so I pull the bumper down, you can see that you can get right up in there. So it's just it's just a matter of making sure you have enough room to be able to do what you gotta do. So all we're gonna do here, and it's gonna be kinda tough for me to be able to show you this, uh, I'll, I'll try to, but I don't know if I can do it with two hands. So basically all I'm doing is I'm gonna put the diffuser up to the screws, and I'm gonna tighten the screws down. That's really all I'm doing underneath here. So I'll, I'll probably just leave the camera running on the outside um, so you can see what I'm doing there. And um, we're just going to tighten these screws up. And that's it. So now, by me starting these ahead of time, starting the, the threads, 
I'm able to just get this kind of started pretty easily without any real issues here. It just makes it so much easier to do it. Now, if I would have not done that, this would have been a pain in the butt. So now we're just going to take our socket. And what I'm doing is I'm going to start at the top one here and bring it closer where it belongs so I can get the, the screws will line up. Because of the curve of the bumper, if you try to tighten all three of these at the same time, this back screw down here at the bottom is going to be totally tweaked and it's not going to want to go in straight. So what you want to do is you want to get this one pretty well snug up, then tighten this one, and then this one here. Okay. So this one is a little bit tighter than most because of the pump there. You can get a ratchet in there, but I'm finding it's just going to be that much easier just to go ahead and, and put um, use a wrench here. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Socket. See if I can get a little bit of video here. Hopefully you guys can see this. It won't be this rough on you because you're not going to be holding the camera, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just snugging these down. one. Just like that. And then we'll go back up to the top one with a wrench and we'll snug that one up with the wrench and then that one will be done and then we can go and move over to the other one. light for you here. Okay. Now sometimes, like I said, you're not going to have this issue. You're going to have both hands to work with. <laughs> I'm using using the one hand to hold to hold the camera so you guys can see that and so it makes it a lot harder to do here but hopefully you guys are getting the gist this isn't that hard to do um, again just a little bit of time that it's going to take to do this just snugging this up So, all right, and there you got it. So we're just going to repeat that three to three more times, and we're done with this thing. I'm going to keep the camera running on the outside, so you'll be able to see all of it. But uh, I think you got the gist underneath here, that's for sure. And the one I just did was the hardest one. Okay, so we're moving on to the next one. 
So we're just going to start it like so. Now this one here, I'm going to start with a wrench. I think I can actually, well, it might be just as easy to do with a wrench. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start it there. And then I should be able to put a socket on it. I'll tighten them up from there. Let's see what we get here. And you can see here it's I'm not as bound up, so it's like I've got a lot more room to work on this one than I did on the other one. Okay, and that side is done. Okay, so we're on the passenger side now, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of video here um, up in the up in the bumper just to show you how much more space there is. I'm gonna see if I can get the light to light light back up up there. All right. Now, as you can see here. Look at all that space up there. Isn't that crazy? So like I said, the driver's side is the hard one to do. This one is the easy one to do. Okay. We're going to take our screws, which are right here. I've got the one that's still in here. Gonna drop those down in the holes. And like I said, there's just so much space up in this side that it's it's just a no-brainer. So I'd advise doing the hard side first, and that way you won't have, by that time you're nice, starting to get tired from laying on the floor, you can just go ahead and, <laughs> as you do it, it'll get easier instead of getting harder. Okay, so again, we're just starting these. Pretty easy. Get them all pushed through the hole. I'm starting in the center one, which will then we'll just suck them all in place. And I move down to the bottom one. Just have the very last one to do. And I can reach up here and I can start this with my hand also. And I'm just going to push this up here like so. What that's going to do, it's going to let me start this one bolt in the center and then I'll be able to get the other ones to tighten up. So as you can see this was something that we were able to do on the floor, you didn't have to go 
pay to have somebody install them for you because you needed a lift. You're able to do this yourself. You know, a couple things I did note, I did mention that you want to be careful about is when you're drilling the holes from the template that you don't just wildly drill through the, through the bumper. Make sure that you get your template in the right place. And that's about it. It's just taking your time and mounting this thing. It's really, it's really not hard. Okay, we've got those mounted. Now, the only thing we've got left to do, we've got them on there. You can see they look pretty good. I don't like how they look. Got a little bit of fuzz over there. We'll have to wipe it all down. But anyway, it looks great. So now all I've got to do is I've just got to push this. I'm going to make sure you guys can see that. Let me scoot this over just a hair. Okay, like so. We're just going to push this back in. Okay. Let's see if I can get out of the camera's view there. Just going to snap that little guy back in place. Okay, just like so. And then, like I said, you've got the screws here, you've got the three here, and you have the two here. Let's see if I can get out of the way so you guys can see them. They got the two here. The three there. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put these little screws back in. Now, I think the hardest thing to me doing this whole job is setting this one particular screw right here. Now there's a little bracket that comes off off the frame and it always scoots out. It's like spring loaded and it always scoots where it's back in. So what you want to do is go up there and you can reach it. Let me see if I can see if I can get that on the GoPro so you can see that. So if you can see what I'm talking about here, there's this, this little arm. Okay. Now this arm, this screw right here, has to go through that. So Every time I take this screw loose, this little arm goes forward a little bit, just enough that it won't line up when you go to put the screw in. Okay, this one usually always lines up and these other three always do too. This one is just a little monster. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out to you that that's all you've got to do, okay? And once you get it in place, and it always seems to be this side, not the other side. So anyway, um, so I'm gonna stop the GoPro part of it. And we'll continue to go ahead and we'll put the screws back in. We just need to put these screws back in on the other side too. to go ahead and put the screws in on the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just gonna put the screws back in just like so it's back in place gonna snap those back little guys back in there you heard them snap 
get our screws started. And we are down to the last screw right here. And we are done.